Hi, I'm Faiz from Onsmore Studio Light System. As you can see, today I'll be unboxing Onsmore O3 300 Watt 3 Lights Kits. Onsmore O3 300 Watt is an affordable, advanced charger kit. It is suitable for family photo shoot, boutique photo shoot, and even e commerce. And if you are serious enthusiasts, then is it suitable for you? Once you unbox, these are the items that you have. Firstly, 2 units of Onsmo Ochi 300W Studio Light, 1 unit wireless trigger and a receiver, 2 units of power cables, 1 unit 110cm wide umbrella, 2 units 60x90cm softbox, 2 unit 2.3m light stand, and a light stand bag. Hi, basically, I'm going to show you how to set up a light stand. Firstly, loosen this knob, and remember, to spread the leg first. Next, we just push it like an umbrella. And you just push it until the support and the leg is 90 degree as you can see here. And after you make sure that the leg is in 90 degree, you just tighten it back like this. And if you wish to put it higher, you just easy. You loosen this to knob. Pull it over and tighten it back. There you go. Isn't it easy? Do not do it this way. Or in this way. It is wrong. So right now, I'm going to show you how to put on Onsmo O3 300 watt studio light onto the light stand. First and foremost, loosen this one and move down the holder. Remember, make sure you're in a straight line and then tighten it back. Next, loosen the screw until you can't see it. And remember, before you put it on, please hold the safety lock. And tighten it back. There you go, we've done. Right now, I'm going to show you how to set up Onsmo Softbox. Onsmo Softbox consists of Onsmo Carry Bag, 4 rods, Onsmo Softbox Shell, Internal Diffuser, External Diffuser, and Speed Ring. First and foremost, you need to open up the Onsmo softbox shell and make sure the silver part is on top. Next, open up all the inner vipro. There are a total of four inner pockets. Two, three, four. Which is two are able to be opened. Next, take the rods and put it into two corner pockets that cannot be opened, which are these two. And make sure the head of the rod needs to be put into the corner. In this way. This is the speed ring. There's a lot of holes around it. And this is the bowl mouse. Make sure the bowl mouse is facing downward and take one of the rods, put into one of the hole, this way. And remember, to skip a hole, take the next rod, put it into the hole. It's okay for you to bend it. Just that. Continue by opening the corner pocket. And take the remaining rods, put through it. And remember to skip a hole. And another one.
Make sure each of the rod in the hole properly. Make sure there's a remaining empty hole between it. And also, beware that keep the velcro open all the time. And it will be better if you have a friend to help you. So you can you may ask your friend to hold it in this way. And you can start to pull it. Continue with another pocket. There you go. Thank you, friend. The following step. Take the internal diffuser that comes with the pin and clip it to the white strap. And final one. There you go, your internal diffuser. Next step, take the external diffuser and stick it to the inner edge of the Velcro. So, there you go, the auto diffuser. Last but not least, flip the softbox and stick back the Velcro nicely. There you go, on small softbox. Now I'd like to show you how to set up the softbox onto the on small O3 300W studio light. First, if you wish to release the cover, push the release button, twist it, and take it out. Take the soft box, take off the back velcro, put your hand inwards, place the bone mount into the hole accordingly, and twist it until you hear a click sound. There you go. If you wish to change the softbox direction, put your hand inwards, loosen the bone mount lock, and twist it to any direction that you wish to. And remember to lock it back. And not to forget, stick back the back velcro nicely. There you go. Repeat the same whole step to the other studio light. As you can see, we're done setting up the lights, so it's time for us to power up the lights. In order to power up the first light, you need a power cable and the receiver. Put the power cable into the receiver. First, plug in the sync cable. Next, plug in the power cable into the socket. Make sure it's secure. For the other lights, plug in the power cable will do. Make sure it's secure. And plug in the power cable into the power point. Turn it on. So, these are the buttons that we have on the studio lights. As you can see, 1 indicates on, 0 indicates off. First and foremost, we're on the power button. 1 indicates the red colour, means it's on. 
And as you can see here, the ready indicator showing green color means the security light is ready to go. Meanwhile, for the red button here, is a test button where one, if you press it and the studio light triggers a light, means it's ready to use. Meanwhile, for model button, which is for the modeling light, and for the auto button, which is for the modeling light. Let's say if you opt it, the modeling light brightness will be at 100%. Meanwhile, if you are on it, the modeling light brightness will follow the studio light power. Meanwhile, for bus button, let's say if you're on it, once the light being triggered, it will show the beep sound. And if you off it, there's no sound. Last but not least, the power node. As you can see, the most left hand side is the lowest power. Meanwhile, the right hand side is the highest power. The digital screen will show you the power that you've been adjusting. So, that's the function of the buttons. Last but not least, this is the trigger. And as you can see here, the button here is the same function as the test button on the studio light. So right now, we're going to put the trigger on the hot shoe mount, push it, and tighten it. There you go, ready to shoot. Be reminded there's only one receiver and one trigger in a set. In order to trigger the other light, slam mode must be on. For further inquiries, do visit our website www.onsmo.com. I'm Faiz from Onsmo Studio Light System. Thanks for watching.